We're back from CES 2018, guys, and we saw so much cool shit and somehow made it back alive. Every major brand was there flexing their muscles. Samsung, LG, Sony, Panasonic, Polaroid, every electronics brand you can think of. Plus, Car Audio showed up, Pioneer, Kenwood, JVC, Alpine. We shot everything, and we're gonna make a ton of videos in the upcoming weeks. So definitely stay tuned and turn on your video notifications if you were unable to attend the event and really wanted to see what was there. If you heard about something at the event that you wanna see, let us know, we'll try to make a video on it. Sony actually won the event with their robotic dog. Apparently, robotic pets are the future, and it was actually really cool to see. We did manage to get a video up on the Image Dynamics i2300 two-channel amplifier. It's a solid entry-level two-channel amplifier. It has decent power, perfect for powering like a set of speakers and a subwoofer or something like that. We did a review, tested out its power output, so definitely check that out. All right, Boston Jim, you're up. What was your favorite thing at CES? My favorite part about CES? Probably watching you get blackout drunk at Top Golf, James. Let's get these top comments going. On the Sony XAV AX100, flies on the wall. This radio is a big pile of shit. Take it from somebody who got one for his truck. Do not buy one. Your stock radio is so much better than this one. Plus, on most trucks, you have to cut the dashboard so you f if you want to get your old radio back. Just because somebody didn't do enough research on the radio and realized that they had to cut the entire dashboard of their truck doesn't mean it's a shit radio, all right, guy? It's one of the best radios on the market. On our Ferrari install, I love titanium. All the best installs are completely reversible. No need to strip the paint for the earth. There are loads of factory earth points. You mean ground? And I don't know if you saw the earlier videos on the install. Did you see the f***ing messes we found? Man, we made that f look good. Mattia Donato to die. In this video, you can see how to kill a Ferrari. Only person with mental problems can make tuning audio on an artwork like Ferrari. Again, we cleaned up shit installed before us. And you know what? The guy wanted a f***ing system. What do you expect us to do next time someone comes to us with a Ferrari and wants a system? Oh, no, sir. You can't put a system in a Ferrari. Oh, that's artwork right there. You can't do that. Get the f*** out of here with your Ferrari. Go f***ing drive it really fast. Get out of here. Philip Perry. I was excited when I came across this video only to see some bullshit. Undoing screws by hand only to use an impact driver to reinstall them. Um. Then there's the EQ tuning. Well, f*** me. <laughs> With all that test equipment, I'm blown away by what I saw. What a bunch of amateur hour f***ing bullshit. Any idea what a flat pink noise frequency response should look like? Obviously not. EQ set by RTA quote, it sounds so much brighter. I like my EQ better. You're a f***ing idiot. No signal measuring, no amp tuning. I guess because you are so good at guessing sh** because you demand. Quality mobile video, mate, stick to drinking beer because you must be better at that. Your mother's blown away by what she saw. Steve Jones, looks like the subs are out of phase with each other. All right, guys, I know you guys think the subwoofer tuning was wrong, but you gotta remember, the subwoofers are behind your fucking head, all right? Jesus. They're right here, so we gotta adjust the tuning for that. It's a different situation than inside your 1996 Honda Civic, okay? Tammy Forbes, can't believe my Chevy Cruze has a better system than a Ferrari. Guess I should save my money for a better car. Honestly, Tammy, Ferrari's not meant to have good speaker systems. But really, the true system is that V8 in the back. So Ferrari really doesn't give a f about the radio or speakers. That's why the stock system is so suspect. 1224 GS7, a Pioneer deck in a Ferrari? You should have customized an iPad Head mounted in the dash, just my opinion. Again, the f***ing guy wanted a stereo, first of all. Second of all, why don't we just take it a step further? We can put a f***ing 28-inch MacBook Pro f***ing desktop, right, we'll mount it right in the dash right there, the tiny dash that the Ferrari has. How are we supposed to fit an iPad in there, huh? Did you see the dash? It's tiny. Jesus. Let's even take it further. We'll put a Coke dispenser in the left door and a flashlight on the right door, all right? Bot Raymakers. You, sir, deserve way more views. What a brilliant piece of craftsmanship we're witnessing here. And I don't care that the videos are long. I enjoyed watching every second of it. Thank you, bot. You're the man. All right, that's it for top comments. Stay tuned for all the CES coverage we're gonna do. But I gotta go. I gotta go pick up like five boxes of Plan B. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you hated this video, dislike it. But if you enjoyed it, go ahead and click that like button. Join the conversation below. Leave some comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out qualitymobilevideo.com for all of your car audio and video gear today. And stay tuned for all these upcoming videos we're gonna have from CES 2018.